Do you believe that Vic should lose a 20-year career? Objection four. I believe that actors deserve a safe work environment, and if that has to be the outcome, then yes. Straight from Monica Rial's mouth herself, she believes that Vic Mignogna's legacy, his work, and everything he's built around him for the last 20, 25, 30 years should in fact be taken away from him just because of an alleged incident that she had with Vic Mignogna many, many years ago. As once more before we begin, if you are new to this channel and want to be kept up to date with all things involving Vic Mignogna, Monica Rial, Ron Toye, and many of the news and updates involving the Vic Mignogna case, then be sure to go on ahead and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications by clicking on the bell icon to never miss a single upload. Be sure to go on ahead and slap a like down below by giving this video a big thumbs up if you guys do stand with Vic, as well as making sure to check out and subscribe to my main channel over at Unreal and Gaming to where there you guys will be able to find lots of anime and Dragon Ball content that you guys will not get to find on here. So be sure to subscribe over on that channel in which you guys can find the link to Unreal and Gaming located down in the description box below and follow me at Twitter at Unreal and Gaming to stay connected with me at all times. And if you have anything you would like to share or tag me in involving Vic Mignogna or any of the parties involved in this case, then be sure to go on ahead and follow me at Twitter. Now, Monica Re Y'all's deposition did reveal a lot, and I will say Monica did a lot better than Ron Soye did during his deposition, but Monica Rial went ahead to lie, and I'm going to show you all the evidence having to be presented from the deposition so you guys can make a judgment of your own. Her stories didn't match up, she was saying things that were completely out of character in terms of what she had presented as quote evidence, so I want you guys to go on ahead and check this out and let me know where you stand on Monica Rial's deposition. I believe you said this earlier, but um, if you had distanced yourself from Vic, why would you have sent the kissy face emoji? because it's my job to put up appearances and make it appear as though everything is great. But also, like I said in my statement, I made every effort to try and move past that event, thinking it was a one-time thing with me alone. Um, and I wanted to forgive him. I wanted to believe that he was a better person than that. Could you just have said, I had fun? Objection for Yes, but if you look at my Twitter, you'll see that I use emojis all the time, so Shock. it would have been out of character for me not to use an emoji. Oh, yes, I everyone. use hearts constantly. Now, if you just paid attention to what Monica Rial had just said, she went on to state that it is her job. Her job to do what? Put on a facade. And that's exactly what she did on Twitter. And the deposer even went as far as to ask Monica, couldn't you just simply have done something else instead of further implying something with a kissy emoji? Because it doesn't look right, especially after you're going to come out many, many, many years later with a story involving somebody that you said was is going to potentially harm you in their hotel room. Which again, everyone seems to be asking the same question, and that is how come you didn't do something to this individual at the time rather than simply forgive him? Now again, I'm not a fan of cancel culture, I'm not a fan of having to stick around and waiting to supposedly tell a story. If something happens, I think to anybody in the world, it is your obligation to say something at that time, that way you prevent a similar occurrence to happen to anybody else being that you have the power to speak up about it so being that Monica forgave Vic which again I think from a morale standpoint is a very good thing to do in having to forgive somebody after supposedly having this thing happen to you but again which is alleged the best course of action that Monica could have done at the time is spread the word to the industry right then and there and also report this incident to the police rather than having a subject objective bias in wanting to forgive someone if you felt at the time they tarnished your friendship. Do you believe that Vic is the legal definition of harassment? I'm not even sure what the legal definition of harassment is. I think I copied and pasted that from a Wikipedia or something. <laughs> 
This woman doesn't even know the legal definition behind harassment. She went along ahead to copy and paste this on her Twitter to obviously show some authority and get clout from all her little fans. Meanwhile, in the courtroom right now, during this deposition, she goes as far as to admit that she didn't even know what she was talking about, but yet she still insists that these events have indeed happened to her. Meanwhile, during this deposition, her story doesn't seem to add up to the original statement be put out there on Twitter. So again, it's not the fact that she's being scrutinized as an individual, it's her stance. It's the overall pragmatics of what she is saying that is subject to criticism by everyone who's observing this. Now you might ask, what would it take for Vic Mignogna to come back and have his roles reprised, or at least have some sort of an established relationship with said individuals in the foreseeable future, and you won't believe what Monica had to say about that. What in your personal opinion would it take for Vic to be able to come back to work? Objection for I believe I stated it in one of my Twitter statements or I know I've said on Twitter repeatedly that I've said that if he would apologize and he would seek counseling and seek help that at that point then I feel like maybe he they would consider and lay low for a while that maybe in the future he would have a path to redemption disingenuous, extremely condescending, extremely facetious in the fact that Vic Mignogna apologized, that he did, but did that apology go anywhere? No. He was not only very objective in his overall apology approach by letting everybody know on Twitter, hey, if I had done something to make you feel uncomfortable, if I did anything, said anything to offend you, I am sorry. And most of the people that saw that already knew that Vic was being genuine in his approach, but we live in a day and age where cancel culture is a thing and basically apologies don't mean a damn thing in our modern society so what does monica want she wants vic to apologize but guess what he did publicly and privately as a matter of fact Vic reached out to Monica privately to ask her, listen, if I did anything, if I said anything, let me know so I can apologize to you. I am sorry if I did anything to hurt you. And what did Monica do? Ignore him. So you are being completely condescending, very disingenuous, and you are a liar because you're asking for an apology. And Vic attempted to make several apologies while you turned your back against him. So not only are you lying on camera to all of us, watching and listening, but you're also lying under oath. Way to go, Monica Rial. Great job on that one. Have there been any conventions that you were invited to that you have not participated in? Yes, ma'am. Okay, which ones? Uh, Kamehacon. Okay. And River Region Comic Con. And I'm sure prior to this year there were a few that I had to miss. Now this is interesting because I was at KameaCon and so were all of my friends and so were the people that I was running the convention with and trying to help them and assist them and we all knew including all of the attendees that Monica Rial was in fact in town. She was a part of KameaCon except only she wasn't at the actual convention center itself. She was located elsewhere at another location to where fans had the opportunity to drive out about 25 5, 30, 35 minutes elsewhere to further meet Monica Rial on behalf of Kamehacon. So that right there is a lie because just because she wasn't at the actual convention center itself, you know, the same building where Christopher Sabat and Vic Mignano were, she instead was attached to Kamehacon in a different location. So again, that in and of itself was a lie and the people that went out to go meet her aren't liars either because they can also testify that indeed she was in town and she was also attached to KameaCon as a reference if people wanted to go see her from the convention center to make that drive to a different location. Which bear in mind a lot of us that were helping out the staff and a lot of us that were there attending the convention as fans already knew that Monica Rial was here except she was scheduled to be at a different location. As there is so much more that we are going to be discussing on another video along with showing off the entirety of the deposition and highlight clips so again I want to get your thoughts in the comment section below. Is it right for Monica Rial to ask for an apology after Vic tried to make a public and private apology to her if he had done anything to offend her or did anything that basically relate to these allegations against them? Is it right for her to still say under oath 
that she wants an apology after the man attempted to make one. Again, I think she's a liar. There's lots of empirical evidence to prove that, but I want to get your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for watching, guys. Once more, if you guys are new to this channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on all notifications, subscribe to my primary channel at Unreal and Gaming. Also, follow me on Twitter at Unreal and Gaming, guys. If you guys have anything to share with me or tag me in, feel free to do so. I'm going to leave you guys off with some clips from Nick Ricada's live stream. So I hope you guys tune back in for more, and I'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below, guys. Take it easy. Would you think that calling someone a predator when they've never been convicted of anything is a lie? Objection for I don't know. Are there any other conventions that have listed both you and Vic to have appearances that you have told them you would not attend if Vic is present? No, ma'am. The only one I can think of is Comic Con. Okay. And have you have you threatened to not attend conventions if they invite Vic? Mm, I don't think that's in my stipulations, no. Other than Comic Con. And um, have you had any voice actors through your career um, say things about you that are untrue? Not that I can think of. Offhand. But yesterday, um, when Ron gave his t his deposition, he had indicated that a lie could be just not telling about something. Do you agree with that? Objection four. To me, a lie is knowingly telling a falsehood. I can't speculate what Ron thinks it is. Have you posted or discussed or? Tweeted, 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 however you say that about Vic on on uh, Twitter since January of this year. I can't recall. There's been so many tweets. But in the video, you don't appear to be like with him or be pushing back at him or. As sorry. I said in my statement that I put on Twitter, um, I had chosen to forgive him for the one incident that we had in 2007 because. I did consider him a good colleague, a friend, um, and I wanted to believe the best in him. Besides Tammy Dimbo in January of this year, um, who else had you spoken to about the, the alleged assault in 2007? I was so shaken. Um, the only person that I know knew about it Early on was uh, Raleigh Pickens, who was my um, my boyfriend of five years after that convention. The first several for the first bit of time, I can't tell you exactly how much how much time were rather vague, and uh, that was when I wrote her. As I said, we'd been friends, my understanding, for 20 years. The public apologies. What would those be? Uh, I I put out a tweet at some point that just basically said I am extremely sorry for any unintended, certainly unintended offense or uh, you know anything that has hurt or offended anyone. Certainly never my intention. And I also uh, apologized publicly um, at an event. And who are you apologizing to? Specifically? Yeah. Anyone who I inadvertently offended. And, and what, what did you think you were apologizing for? Inadvertently offending them. And when you say inadvertently offending, you're talking about giving hugs or kisses and things like that, people that didn't want it. Whatever it was that, that people had a problem with.